Right now everybody, Ben here again from Casa Animalia. As you say good morning, it's just coming up to 9am. Um, today we're going to make a couple of uh, adaptions to this cage ready for the iguanas to come out. Uh, I've been out and tested the temperatures last night to check inside the box to make sure it would be warm enough. It didn't go below 20 and that was at about 5.30 this morning. Uh, it's now 9am and it's already 27 degrees in there. So we're going to pull the box out, get the grass uh, glued into place, get it all back in. Additional branch here, gonna get tied down, and then let's see if we can get the big fella out and uh, see what he thinks of his new home. Let's get to it. this last night didn't think we'd want to see cutting fake grass it's actually an old rabbit rabbit box I should say um, from we used to breed a lot of rabbits here but um, I thought I could repurpose it give it some insulation with this and tidy it up a bit so that's what we're gonna do Just wrapping this around it just to hold everything in place whilst that set shouldn't take too long as you saw I put super glue on first just to get a fast hold and then the silicone just to give it a proper bond all the way around.
Okay, so that should hold everything in place. Corners, not too bad, can't see too much. I don't normally use something like fake grass, but um, I had to, I couldn't just sit that plastic box in there. Um, and this is what I had, so I thought, well, it'll warm it up in the day, should keep some warmth in there overnight. Um, and for now, I'm not gonna be heating this because it's roasting from now on. Um, but other than that, in the winter, to be honest with you, if it was to overwinter out here, I will create a wooden box area with proper heat pad or something similar inside. So as and when we need that, we'll, we'll look at that in the future. Okay, so once the box is setting, we're going to uh, set a double drip system running up the back from the irrigation. That way, it can be turned on a couple of times a day, just give the cage a little bit of a mist, um, or we can just flip the timer on set for twice a day. But at least I know that we'll be getting a bit of a drink. And in the afternoon, though we've placed it here purposely to get plenty of morning sun, um, and it's fairly shaded in the afternoon, we're actually going to put some cane on the top as well just to sort of set that edge off because in the afternoon it does get really hot here uh, but at least I know that it'll be able to have a little bit of a cool down as well. Okay, so before we zip tie that into place, let's go and flip the water on, carry over, have a look, see how it's dripping. I have got a mister, but I just couldn't get it to run on this pressure, so... I don't know if you can see that. I mean, it's not exactly soaking the place. I would have preferred more of a spray, if I'm honest. You know, if I'm not happy with this by the end of the day, I might try and hook up um, something like we've got here in the Sulcata pen, where it's actually, if you make that out down there, but it really whizzes it out. I might, might play about with one of them because I didn't really want just solid drips. I wanted a bit of dispersion, but. These, oh, hold on. Oh, that's a little bit better. Oh, aye. Messing about with other bits, that's all right. That gives us a little bit of spread there. You can see how well you can see it on the film, but yeah, that's giving the whole, pretty much the whole cage quite a good soak in there. Okay, well, let's move on and let's get the cane on. Let's see what we're looking like. Hopefully you won't see this much once the cane's in place. At least this way, if I do want to change it out for a better mister, it's just snipping a couple of cable ties. Let's get them snipped off. It's tied right down, right down underneath that shelf as well. You can't really see that. Okay, let's uh, back up and get the cane on, see what we're looking like. Bring these down a bit. 
I'm just going to tighten up the wires on the end of this. The reason we're not doing the absolute full, oh god you're miles away, full setup is because I'd already set this up last year. Um, 26th of July I put him in. And it was just over three le weeks later when I caught him. He's big, he's fat, he ain't getting out of this now. I did adjust the top at the time thinking I might have caught him sooner, over three weeks. So it'll be interesting moving him over here today, we'll have to... Uh, See how that goes. Now, I'm not going to go too mad tying it down because, again, if I can get that other mister working, I will install that instead. So, for now, that'll do. Maybe one more tie at the back and uh, we'll see how this box is setting up. Okay, so like I said, let the box set. When we get that in, we're going to fish him out of his other cage. See how we go. Okay, so we're back. This is setting pretty quick. Uh, obviously, it's 24 hours of silicone to cure fully, but there's none exposed anywhere. So I'm going to get it in the cage, um, get it set into place, set these wires off, um, and then really, it's just tying this branch in. And then the worst bit, I've got to go and get him. So. Wish me luck, I might film it, I might not. And let's just hope that we come out of this with no blood. We'll see how we go. I get this positioned in, I'm gonna see if I can go and fish him out. Sonny! Sonny! Just gonna sort them out. Just gonna chuck these up top just to set the edge off it. That's the other reason we put the cane on because the grass actually gets really, really hot. Um, so I don't want to get in too hot, but I do want it to pick some warmth up so that it's nice and warm in there at night. But these are just set the edge off the top. Okay, grill. Next bit. going anywhere I'll snip them off if I come back down with gloves on you know it's gone let's go and get him okay so this is kind of where it all began really initially wanted to do the YouTube channel to follow him through and sort of see his progress and watch him grow up 
but then we decided also that we've got a lot of other stuff going on as I've said in early videos so we started putting other bits and pieces in let's see how this goes Hey, big fella. Hungry? You haven't had any breakfast yet, have you? He loves this. This is a Thelgus. It's one of the things we grow down in the veg patch. Now what I'm hoping is a couple of leaves in, I can get close enough to start to stroke him and hopefully just lift him gently out and only restrain him if he goes to go. Um, this is what we've been working on now for the past few weeks, sort of gearing up for this moment. I don't really want to wrestle him out of here and stress him out. This took a long time to get to after his escape. Yeah, I know. We're so, you know, we're quiet, aren't we? We normally go through a couple of leaves before he'll let me anywhere near him. I'm going to go and get him some more. This could get a bit drawn out, this guy's. Okay. Round three. I'm rather glad. He's still hungry. Oh, he's a uh, fatty. He is a bit overweight, but to be honest with you, when they're growing like this, I'm not too fussed if they get a bit chunky. And now he's going outside, he's going to be able to exercise more. Um, and the growth from here on is, is really quickly, really quick. And if you've seen any of the previous videos, as I said earlier on in this one, the reason you didn't see the whole build of the other cage was because I did it. Um, and I just forgot to pick the camera up and I did it and I got it set up and this, that and the other. And then he escaped, so the three weeks I was trying to catch him, I was building this for him. <laughs> Still quite standoffish that he's not quite with it yet. Relaxing. Let's go very carefully. Swap that out for the hand. See him calming down now.
still filming. And okay, it's brilliant. All right, we're here, guys. He got a little bit squirmy, but that was really good. So let's see. Can I Nope. Okay. Let's see what he makes out of this place. Oh, you ain't getting out of there this time, big lad, are you? Gee whiz. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to snip the cable ties before I put him in. <laughs> Never mind. What do you think of that, big fella? Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. Home for summer. Again, if we winterize it, we'll do something different with the box. So I think now I'm just going to do a couple of bits around the garden, just keep an eye on him. Um, have to have a look. I'll need a foot piece of wire or padlock these. But I think he's going to be a very happy chappy in here. There you go, I'm going to taste. I don't go dashing into your box, it's nice and warm out. So as you can see, he can move about in here, he can, uh, he's got quite a lot of sun right down at the bottom. I'll just put his food bowl out in case he's hungry. Now yeah, let's set you off this and uh, let's show you a bit closer. Oops. So he has grown tremendously since we got him back. Looks absolutely fabulous. Big old tail. Again, this cage isn't for life. This is just this step up in between. So remember when you buy these guys and you think, oh, I can do a cage in 12 months time. He's 18 months old. And this cage will do him this year. By next year, I'll probably be looking at upgrading the old cage which is a hell of a lot bigger. Mommy. Yeah, the other cage is a fully bioactive cage. It's got um, some big uh, ficus, ficus bushes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, a couple of other plants in there. It did have a running pond, but it's been... I shut it all down after losing the big girl. Uh, this is also a bioactive base. It's all planted. Which out the way, big girl. Got quite a lot of plants in here growing. A few spider plants, some different succulents you can eat. A little bit of alfalfa there, which I'm sure won't last long. Then some of the uh, good old pothos vines. Just sort of starting to kick off now. And hopefully we'll get them trailing up the wood if he leaves them long enough. So he's got plenty of exercising to do in here. Nice safe box for at night. Get a close up on the big lad. What do you think of that, son? Oop, sorry guys. And of course you can't beat natural sunlight. So he's grown fantastically, but um he will shoot up again in this cage in no time at all. We'll, we'll probably bounce back to him every couple of weeks whilst doing other videos. Uh, just sort of update and, and just check him out. But yeah, pretty happy. Really happy to see him outside. Now just got to keep working on the taming. Okay guys, hope you like this one. Um, if you did, like and subscribe. Well, as I say, we'll come back to visit him. Got a lovely pond next to him now, so he's got uh, it all going on. Loads of sun. So, as I say, like and subscribe, share it, comment down below, tell me what you think of this cage for him for a summer, maybe over winter as well. Um, and yes, yeah, stay tuned because we'll be back soon. Cheers for now. We still mates.
Gregorius.